Yeah. Yeah, Joey Diaz. Yeah. All right, let's get Jamie Massad in here. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Buddy, Just seriously. Things, we buddy. have to do something about the N-word. Take it out of dictionary. For the people that don't know, Obviously. Jamie Masada is the uh, owner of the Laugh Factory in L.A. where Kramer did his thing. Obviously, uh, two nights Joe ago, Joe Rogan has hurt him a lot. <laughs> What's up, brother? Yeah, how are you, Joe? Wonderful, Mr. Masada. Um, and yourself? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right, I guess. Uh, yeah. Trying, trying to do the best we can do with all of the comedian they are surrounding you guys. And, you know, the special Joe and everybody in here, they think, you know, of what I did with uh, banning the N, it was kind of like a... You mean the word nigger? Please, please be nice. Can't say it? Uh, you know... Uh, Just say that it's a word. We're talking about the word. Uh, no, Just we, word. the word. Oh, I know, but the whole Not thing... Not calling anybody it. I know, I know. But the thing happened, you know, you guys, you were here, you didn't see it. I mean, I was in the Los Angeles. The time is South Center. All of the Senate, everybody, they're trying to have a riot and all of that stuff happening. you got to do the best you can to stop it. So are you doing this for self-preservation? Is this pretty much, please look, I'm trying, don't burn my club down? No, 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 no. It's not only that. Or is no. it a personal no, decision no, no. that yeah, you're actually making no. through your own morality or something? Yeah, because we can't start banning words there. No, yeah. you can't. Yeah. Uh, no, no way, no, start no. banning the no, word. No, no, no. I'm not banning a word or anything like that whatsoever. What I'm trying to say, we got it as a comedi- as a comedy community, we got to come together somehow you know, calm the whole thing down because of it sounds sense all of the people, all of the Senate up there, they're all ready to do the riot. Oh, come on. And we did still, have no way. Way. Still, on the they're brink. still angry about a, a is it, is sitcom it guy from years ago who said a bad word to a heckler trying to hurt him. And, and then they really apologized poorly. And then fall, yeah. fell apart on television over and over again right. with Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson and David Letterman. I mean, is it, if they're really ready to riot, if they're going to riot, they would have already rioted. No, no? they were going to riot. But they're they, not going to riot now. No, no. They were going to riot. I mean, at the time we were, uh, day before Thanksgiving, I was on a TV Wonders radio, a bunch of places. Was There were five, 6,000 of people that were outside. Mm-hmm. They were all kind of like a, it was like a dynamite. It was ready to blow up. Right. And so what we do, we have to do something because in Los Angeles, they, these people, there are a lot of people, they are unemployed. There are a lot of people, they don't have no jobs or anything in South Central. And they were, it was just going crazy. So what do you do at that point? You got to do something the best you can do, calm everything down. I think, I think you calm things down, though, by telling Michael Richards maybe that he can't perform there anymore because it was more, not, not so much for the language, but just for like the outburst and the turning away of, of your class clientele, you know, you, he turned away uh, people from your club. That is a reason for you to say, hey, you're not welcome back here anymore. Yeah, but for reasons. using words, I mean, it's like if, if Mencia comes in and says beaner, 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 uh, is are you going to ban him? Is is it something no, like that? No, no, no. I mean, none of he that. You know, uh, no. But yeah. you know, the whole thing is what we trying to do. The time you see the whole thing happening, what's happening in again in Los Angeles, you guys all see it from outside. The time I was mm. involved with it, the time I saw it in Los Angeles. Oh, well, I could nigger out what's going on out there. I just it's Fig- hard figure. to figure, figure, figure out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I can figure out what's going on out there <laughs> just by uh, what I hear in the news. Oh, they're applauding. You want to things like that, but uh, I'm sorry, it was just a Freudian <laughs> slip. But uh, you know, I don't think it's as bad. I'm but there. again, I'm not well, out I'm there, there too. It's not no, but, but you guys, you are all, you know, everybody, Joe Rogan, everybody, they are there. They're living in Beverly Hills, B- Brentwood. Buddy, I don't all, live in Beverly Hills. Oh, okay, wherever. You're not living in South Central. The time you go in the South Central. If I is, lived in South Central, would it make more sense? Uh, really I, I think you would be agreeing with me if you leave there. I think Jamie is afraid of his club. This is why I, I, it, I didn't hate that you banned it. Only because right. I didn't look at it like it was a politically correct decision. I think he just didn't want his club to be a focal point of this rage with that big insignia on the side, and that's an area that has a history of really shitty racial violence, and look, if I own a building, I just don't want people fucking Molotov cocktailing it. I mean, so that's that the only reason I kind sure of sided with, with you on that. Yeah. I don't think banning a word, I think it's disgraceful, but, here's, but here's how, to preserve your club from being burned down, you know, you gotta do something. Here's think, how it could have been think... stopped way, way earlier. Why didn't you get rid of those fuckheads but when they were heckling other people? Weren't they heckling other people all night? No, no, they was not. That's what I heard from other comments. No, I there? was I was there. Nobody I mean, else? I, I, I mean they, you, you're just hearing all people, they exaggerated. I was there. The guys, they were ordering drinks. At the, by the time 
and a couple of them, they were talking. I was right there, and one of the guys, and Michael looked at the people. He said, what's going on in here? And the guy said, nothing. And he, Michael kept on asking, what's going on? Why you talk? And the guy, he said, hey, my buddy think you are not funny. He said, what? He said, my buddy said, he's not, you're not funny. And at that point, the rages came in. And, you know, comics, they are, you know, I mean, all of you guys know you're coming from insecurity. You're coming from, you need a lot of love on the stage. And that's what it is about. Yeah, and but at that time, point, it's like you make fun of the guy's shirt. You could talk about his big yeah. head. That's the thing. Like, you're saying, it's like, you should never do what he did. You should no, never do that. No, no, He's because he's so he, incompetent. That's what it really yeah, is. Now you're yeah, yeah. Now you're, and, dude, yeah. it's like, yeah. if you're bombing... That's what happens in comedy. People say yeah. you're not funny, and then you have to deal with it. Right. What you don't do is is what he what he did was fucking wrong. Well, I had heard from uh, he had did a set at the comedy store before he went up at the Laugh Factory, and the guys who saw him at the comedy store, my friend Brian was talking about it, saying he was like a different guy. He was like yelling and screaming and swearing. And he just seemed like all amped up. You he had know? a chick with him, right? I heard yeah, he had a chick yeah, with him. Yeah. That might explain why that rage came out, because there's nothing worse than bombing in front of a girl. You know why it's that fucking chick embarrassing. is living at Poe's house? Oh. <laughs> She's being protective. Sad. She's in a cage right now. <laughs> Wouldn't it help with the Laugh Factory, though, if they wanted to cut the problem, if they just banned black patrons? There, yeah. That's an option. I, I mean, I, well, you call a white guy a nigger, they very rarely even flinch. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so. any of that would have been. <laughs> He's actually answering it. No, I yeah, don't think that would actually be the right way to do it. Buddy, that's not the way to handle it. I got a question. I Start not slower. Drinking fountains buddy. in bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Four different restrooms. No, but, you know, the whole thing was the time this whole rage went on. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I didn't know what to do. And all I did, I mean, after 28 years of being in the business, I decided I'd give everybody's money back. And a lot of people, they start taking advantage of a lot of opportunities. Uh -huh. they were there. Yep. You know, a guy coming in, he said, I have $400 worth of drinks. I said, $400 worth? You drank them? I said, I mean, uh, four hundred dollars. I said, show me the bill. He showed me a knife. I said, okay, here's four hundred dollars. He showed you a knife? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I wish boy. you were there that wait night. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The guy yeah. pulled a knife on you? Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you call the police? Here's because my bill. at that time it was going to be a riot. Yeah, right you, I mean, all of the you guys you've seen outside, you've seen from outside, you don't see what, what was going on up there. It was amazing stuff was happening. All of a sudden, a lot of people, Jesus. the opportunists, they are standing up there, they looking at everything. It just doesn't make sense. For you guys, you know, sitting up here, why don't you, at that point, if I, by the time I'll call the cops and that and that and that. Listen, it is yeah. pandemonium. I totally understand. I totally understand you giving people their money back, apologizing. I totally understand you banning Michael Richards. I totally understand all that. I, I just I, don't. Don't understand you printing receipts on knives. No. <laughs> you <a> fucking move. <laughs> Handed out a laugh factory knife. Yes. Complimentary laugh factory dangerous. switchblade. <laughs> a lot of engraving going on. Thank God. Paul Moni will carry it around. <laughs> oh, please, homie. I, and, uh, Put the knife away, homie. Wait. And, uh, of course, Paul Mooney get on all of that. And Jesse Jackson yeah. and all of those guys, they're all coming. Have you gone on a radio show with them? All of them, they have their hands out. Oh, you got to do something for my church. Well, this Paul guy Mooney, gotta... I think, made a great point. He said the guy had a nervous breakdown. I think that's exactly what it was. He's just yeah. not a funny guy. I mean, that's the reality yeah. of it. He got all that love all those years from those sitcoms, and that's... Look, man, I've been in that fucking world from news radio. I've seen those people. That's They want their bagels and their smoked locks, and they're there at the table read, and everyone's clapping and laughing, and there's all this extra love, and everyone waves to them on the red carpet, and it's a bullshit world. Yeah. And you go from that bullshit world to the fucking trenches of Saturday night in front of drunks at a comedy club, dude. That's a different animal, and man. His, and it's his words coming out of his mouth, not yeah. Larry David's or yeah. Jerry Seinfeld's or the writers. Not only is it his words, he doesn't have that much time on stage. He's right. only been doing time. I mean, how long has he been doing comedy? He, about six months, yeah. seven months. Oh, no, no, he's been no, doing it longer, longer than that. I saw no, I've no. seen him at the comedy store several years ago. No, he's, no, no. He, he came in, but he came in. He stopped. He came in for one month, two months. He's been doing he it other places. He's been yeah. doing other places. Because yeah. I saw him at the yeah. improv yeah. at least a year ago. Yeah, so he's been he's been scattered back and forth going on stage. But the bottom line is the guy is up at the one of the biggest stages in the country as far as stand-up goes. You know, you're going there. You're going to go up after all these major n national acts who are going to fucking slay. And then you're going up basically an open micer who's a superstar multimillionaire. And on top of it, he's got this fucking tremendous attitude. Mm. You know, I mean, you know, the, 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 all the, the shit that he said was just, that's insanity. I mean, you can't say that. I mean, yeah. none of it makes any sense. Yeah. 
I mean, you know, someone doesn't think you're funny, so you're going to hang them up by their ankles and stick a fork in their ass and look, I found a nigger. None of that I makes the any sense. Part was in the in in the middle of it where he tried to turn it around and try to play it like he was trying to teach hey, people something. Hey, just words. Oh, those words. We're still it's like, no, dude, you you fucking no, yeah. snapped. You yeah, snapped. and that was he what's in down. your mind. Is that you? Mooney yeah. hit it the best. Mooney said he had a, a, a nervous yeah. breakdown. Yeah. And he is in a way he did. He did in a point. He did have a nervous breakdown, and then he wanted to come in to talk to the people. Did you let him on stage the next night? No, he told me he want to come in next night to go apologize. I said, okay, Michael, come in. And CNN, they came in with a camera. Jennifer Wolf came in with a uh, CNN. They wanted to have him on the stage to apologize. He went on the stage, and he was on the stage for five, six minutes. He didn't apologize. We gave him red light, and you know what's the red light? <laughs> People, they don't know out there. He didn't apologize. What did he no. do? And he ran off the stage, and he went to Jennifer. He said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Jennifer said, we wanted you to say it. On, you know, on the camera he said no and he ran out of the door that's the end of it so he went on stage what did he talk about for six minutes <clears throat> the chap five, about four or five minutes he just when uh, he, what's the deal you know I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah what did he do though this no, is he, an interesting he, question no but he did, went on he was nervous and I think he was doing some of the jokes but he was uh, I mean the time he goes on the stage First of all, you know that, uh, Joe, uh, because you've been into it because you were a star and uh, you're a star. The time you go on the stage, people, they go crazy because of you go on the stage. And he went on the stage for five minutes, three minutes, people, they went crazy to see him. And uh, They went crazy all, to see him. Did they know about the, YouTube the night video before? wasn't out yet. No, it wasn't no, out yet. No, yeah, some out. of them, they do. Some of them, they Did do. anybody boo him? And uh, Not really. Not really. They were waiting for him to apologize. You know, and then all of a sudden he got off the stage. He ran off the oh, stage. Oh man, he blew it. You know, it was. He should have checked into rehab. I would have said I was on yeah, fucking that's the best way to go. a pound of coke. DMT. Hey, don't you think? Remember that night? DMT. I'm pissing blood. You put Velcro DMT. on the ceiling. This is the last thing you say. Yeah. <laughs> you you wet their lips and stick them to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, people. <laughs> but, uh, uh, three, if you slice them thin enough. <laughs> don't Gary? you think banning words though starts to, sets a real bad precedent for club no, owners? No, I, I, I don't. You know, is is not a, you know, is just like a pro, pro. Uh, you know, I mean, again, all of you guys know I'm. This you're in a really, Joe, you know, you're in a tough uh, position though, because the other. Yeah. All the races are going to come out and say, "Well, you got to ban spick, and you got to ban this word, you got to ban that." Gook, think, faggot. Yeah, what know, about I, hacks? How about <laughs> ban hacks first? Ban hacks. Or do you let, yeah, no, what, what it really is. Or do you let the is, word is appear eventually on that stage say, again? You can't say that shit in anger. Like, right. yeah, no, just I, deliberately trying to piss. But there's, there's I get the way around just, that is if someone does that, you don't right. book him again. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, yeah, no, but it's no, not but, like people are thinking, right. he's dealing with the fucking media circus. Like, he's yeah. he's got to do something. Yeah. He's it's also got to deal with the fact that uh, t 20 Asians aren't going to come to his place if someone says chink and uh, stab him with chopsticks. Well, they, uh, they got the Chinese stars In certain on, situations in the area you're in, there is an element that might be a little angry and riled to the point where they might do some what about, physical damage. No, Jamie, the, what, what about Black Knight? You do a Black Knight. Yeah, over there, right? we do. We do a chocolate so how Sunday. How are you going to do that? I mean, chocolate, we, chocolate Sunday. Sunday. You doing chocolate Sunday? They're not allowed to say the N word. Yes. And what? No. Oh, oh, that's wait, that's too. hilarious. No fucking yeah. I bet the first You're guy so gets done. up there. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, no. Even Paul Mooney came in on Wednesday night. Paul Mooney came last. He exactly not three minutes long. No, he did not use one word. How about that Elizabeth Taylor? Uh, uh, oh, please, no. homie. <laughs> that negro is crazy. Why did the cameras leave? <laughs> oh, homie, I'm ready stop. for my African American. But, please. but I, I just got to uh, finish ready for what my word. Uh, wake up call. You know, one thing I'm going to say is it was like a, you know pro uh, sports. They say you got to be nice to fan if you are going to be a little bit crazy. I don't think those guys were his fans. Well, you know, yeah. the people, they come in in the club, they are uh, comedy fans. Um, comedy fans. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. not Michael Richards fans. No, I want to say, I mean, uh, every other uh, people, they come in in the club, they shouldn't use the word because of, we say, if you do it, we take some of your money from your paycheck, we give it to charity. That's what we're going to try to do. And that's right now calming people down. You've got to do something. You can't just, you know, say, no, we are not going to do much. How much? You did your yeah, but wait a minute, you get like 50 bucks a set or something. What do you get a set of the left? Yeah, like 75. Not that like, 75? Not that like, how much money is 
store, they rip you off, those cocksuckers. And, I never got a check from anybody in L.A. No? I never got paid in L.A. I, I don't get paid at the cocksuckers. You never got paid from Laugh Factory? No, from no one. No one's ever paid me in L.A. Oh, you better go in cashier booths. Always your check is there. Buddy, oh. it's ready uh, so for somebody, you. Somebody, let's say, someone gets on stage. Buddy. Unless one, one of the black you. people steal. So, no, no. Someone gets on stage in in a very comedic context. Yes. They use the word nigger. And it's going to happen. How much is it going to cost? One of the boys uh, are going to do gonna, that. Uh, first, it's going to take, take their paycheck, go to a charity. Their whole uh, paycheck. A whole so paycheck. It would how much money is that? $75. Uh, $75. 75 bucks. Yes. If you That's blurt that word it. out. If it's worth yeah. it if you get a good laugh. And wow. what, what if you say it twice? Does that affect your next set? Yeah. Then, you then you're going to gonna be, for three months, you won't be able to come wow. back to the lab factory. That's, That's crazy, what's gonna be after, you know? say? So first time you find them, then the second time, the you know three what, months though? off? Yeah. And then then, hold on. Using, but it's so worth it. There's a comedian out there that's going to do it just for the yeah. exposure. Yeah, what about going to be the guy that breaks the ban and he's going to be all over CNN? Have you ever uh, done something similar to this for guys works. who steal material? Uh, well, I've done that ah, many times. You know yes. that. Doesn't MNC yeah. perform at your club all the time? Not uh, Hello? Hello? Don't even go there. Doesn't you know he? that. Yeah. Doesn't he? he no, no, time? no. No. Thank you. Stop, you work, stopped work, him? Work, no. It, from first day. Come on. What? You know better than that. Come on. Yes. Yes. You know better than that. You work in the battle so royal. With you. Oh, dude, you know, come on, man. You know, He's I mean, there. He goes there. Yeah, but, you know, not not in, you know, most <laughs> of the people, they do anything like that. It's what just, about Dane? What about Dane? Dane Cook. Yes. What about him stealing people's material? Dane, he does not steal any. What are you talking I, uh, about? What, what are you talking about? That's hilarious. Go on the internet. What Go on the that? internet and we'll watch all the videos, listen to all the people talk about it. See, you ever see the Louis C.K. clips? Yeah. When Louis C.K. was working out his material for uh, his HBO uh, special and Dane did three of his bits on a CD? Blatantly, I again, again. Uh, who took from who? No, 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 no. Dane takes from everybody. No, I stop. Mean, Louis C.K. doesn't steal from anybody. No, I've never I, heard Louis. No, I Louis C.K. is a great see, comedian. I, I've never I, heard I any. Not one person ever say that he steals from anybody. I, 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 Every comic that I know says Dane Cook steals. No, Dane Cook. I have not seen buddy, something. Just because he's your number one guy, buddy, does not no, mean I mean, he doesn't no, steal. No, 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 Joe, 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 tell truth. Joe, Joe, that is. Don't speak with fucking tongue. No, I. <laughs> tell you something, Dane, Dane Cook, he's a most hardworking guy. Yes, very hardworking, very ambitious. Everybody, and let me tell you, everybody jealous of him. They're trying to yes. undercut him. True. Oh, he's this, he's this. Very okay, true. what else you can come in? Because he have number one record, he have one number yes. one, everything. But, uh, but, but what? They've everybody always said jealous. he was a thief way before that. No, no, nope. they yes, did not. They did. As soon as... Chappelle. Yes, they did. Bro. As they soon did. as he made no. it, everybody jumped. No, 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 no. On, way, on, way before. That's uh, not true. I, I never heard of it. No. Uh, as soon Jim, as he made it. Have you ever heard of this? I have heard. It. Well, the problem was when, it, when, the, when the clip showed up online, it got to be ugly because between Louis and Dan, the clips were there, and it was like, oof. It's obvious. Yeah, yeah but not with the internet. But it's not it's just really, him. Really, really it's yeah. Jim Brewer. He's stolen from me. He's stolen from a million different comics Maybe in LA. Like that cutting at times, like, like you said, Chappelle. I mean, when comics make it, a lot of times comics aren't jealous. No comics were ever jealous or bad about Dave Attell yeah. or Louis no. Black. There's a lot of guys that or make CK, it. Or CK or, or, or Chappelle. I mean, Chappelle's oh, enormous. Oh. Chappelle's a good example because he's yeah. so Nobody, so nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody says he steals, ever. Everyone yeah. says Dane steals. Yeah, but uh, let me explain something. You're not telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. No, what you're I not. Know. Yes. Bro, but it's not no. true. It's no. not tr It's not a truth. I'm not saying you're a liar, but I'm saying you you might not be aware of it. It's definitely I not might true. Not, I mean, the only thing I'm saying, as soon as I see his record, his, his CD came number one, and he went on the chart. He became, after Steve Martin, he was the first person going up the chart. Nobody ever done and it. And Louis everybody got jealous. Everybody started calling. Well, yeah, well, 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 but that doesn't mean anything. You're, you're, still, you're avoiding the No, the I'm point. not avoiding yes, something. He did, he did do a, a tremendous thing, and he was very successful, but the fact remains, he stole material. No, I... On that CD, he took stuff from Louis C.K.'s HBO special from years before. That's a fact. But uh, yeah, show it to me. Show it okay. to me. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I, hey, when you say, come on, Jamie. You're a great diplomat, by the way. Hey, Joe, where is it online? You are. I'm not. No, I'm not. not. Uh, you yeah. can find it online. I mean, anybody can I search it. I think you can go diplomat. to redband.com. I think he's got it up. I think, uh, the, you know, there's a whole uh, a Radar Magazine is printing it. They're doing an article right now about him stealing. There's like a bunch of, uh, they're, they're, he's been accused of it on CNN, had a whole thing about comics saying that he steals. I mean, it's all over the place. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I've never met a single comic ever that people say steals that doesn't steal. Have you? Have mm -hmm. you? Bill, have you ever met a guy that everybody says is a thief, and you see the guy and goes, no, this guy's completely original. I've never well, heard one. The only one. thing I, I remember was guys... Uh I'm not going to say names, but just one guy who made it, and it's just everybody where I was at was saying, this guy took from me, this guy took from me, this guy took from me. And I was looking at their acts, and I was 
It was. I didn't see it. Well, who is this? This doesn't make sense unless you give us context. Oh. Yeah, if you, if you didn't think he was a thief, you could say it because you're not. Yeah, thinking. Leary. Like everyone's saying, Leary took oh, this. Oh, dude, took the Hick stuff. The Hick stuff is pretty. I don't know uh, anything about. It. I'm just saying that. There well, were you guys, never listened to the Hick they, stuff. They, they then. were guys. I saw a Leary steal over and over again back in Boston, early in the '80s, in the late '80s rather, the early '90s. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes, over and over and over again. Well, I, I saw him I do saw Ray Romano's who, material. I saw, guys saw him do Tony V's material. I saw it with my own eyes in clubs. I saw him do Bill Hicks material verbatim. Then I saw Bill Hicks do the same material a month later, and I was baffled. I was an open micer. And I said, what the fuck is going on? Right, I what I saw was guys confused. who stunk in their acts nobody would steal from were walking around saying it. Okay, that's, I'm them, sure like, the there's fuck? a lot of that. Of course there's so delusional I never people. Saw. That's delusional, of course, yes. Of course there's that, but the fact remains that guy's a thief. That's a fact. Uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, so, I said, I never Larry, saw it. For sure, I've seen it over and over again. I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, he doesn't anymore, but if you look at the difference between, you look at his, his first No Cure for Cancer, then look at Locked and Loaded, pre- and post-Hicks being dead, dude, there's a monstrous difference in the level of the material. The material post-Hicks being dead is fucking horrible. The stuff that he did before, when No Cure for Cancer is some brilliant shit. Yeah, the, it's a completely different thing, because he was taking the ideas from someone else. That yeah, is a fact. Yeah, but, uh, Joe, uh, yeah. I mean, if I can say something here, you, you're very fast to jump in a co conclusion of somebody. Do you somebody know why? Do you well, know why? Because, because uh, you know, I've been explain. the victim of it. No, and let I've me seen explain. it happen yeah. over and over again. And because I work very hard on my material, and I write a lot, and I sit in front of my fucking computer for hours on end, and then I go to the comedy store, and I have little pieces of paper, and I go over it in my head, How's which bitch am I going to do, I'm going to go into that, and then I go into that, and I work on this shit over and over and over again for months, and then some fucking douchebag goes up, he sees me kill with some bit, and then he reworks it, and then he goes on stage, and you know what, club owners don't do shit about it, and then they get on here on a radio show, and they say, no one steals, he doesn't steal, he doesn't steal, what, and it's not true, no. you haven't looked into it at all, and you're defending someone who is widely known throughout the country as being a thief, through the fucking comedy community. Community. You talk to club owners, you talk to people in HBL, you talk to people everywhere that I talk to people, they know he steals. Okay, let me explain something. It doesn't mean you telling me you, you thought of a material. Doesn't mean somebody else. If you thought of building a helicopter, yeah, and right. doesn't mean another person, another That's place does that not that be able. There to is a see. thing called parallel, parallel thinking. thinking. Yes, yes. Yeah, but it's, uh, and then I've you, had that you happen can, to me. Yeah, but you sure, cannot. I've had that happen too. I had that happen recently. We were just talking about it. A buddy of mine in L.A. said, "Dude, I got this bit. It's like your bit." I go. Don't even worry about it. You know, I know you're not a thief. You know, if you know a guy's not a thief, it's like you don't even have the conversation. You know, if you've got a, a comic that you know you respect, like, dude, it's a fucking common, it's something happened in the news and you thought about something and I thought about something and they're similar. But I it's think sometimes if people are already jealous of a guy's success and then that parallel thinking happens, it's just become, once you get to a certain level, it immediately becomes, he's a thief. He's a thief. Without a doubt. Thank there you. are definitely Thank crabs you. in a bucket. Thank However, you. with the Dane Cook thing, they were, they were calling him a thief. They were calling him a thief for years. Years ago, they were calling calling him a thief. I was, uh, I had a problem with him way back when. He was doing one of my bits on Premium Blend. He did my bit about tigers fucking on the Discovery Channel. He changed it to rhinos. I called him up. He told me his own fucking agent told him to stop doing the bit, and he was going to stop doing it. Then I came to the Laugh Factory, and he's doing one of my other bits on stage. I confronted him, and that was the last time I worked at the Laugh Factory. I don't work there anymore because I didn't want to go up in front of him and see him doing my shit and, and, and have him go up and do it, but I never thought Dane was going to make it. I, like a lot of people, thought that Dane was like a medium mediocre comic. I mean, he's a fantastic uh, self-salesman, a, a great marketer, a genius strategist as far as like marketing himself and promoting himself. I mean, you got to give the guy massive amounts of credit for that tireless worker in that regard. But I never thought he was very funny. So I didn't, I didn't worry about the repercussions of him stealing material. I heard it from everybody. Over and over again, comics were saying that he's stealing their shit. He's telling them to stop doing bits that they've been doing for years because that's their bit. They're gonna, he's going to sue them. I mean, I heard it from everybody. You've heard it. We, we've all heard it. It's like, it's not uh, because the yeah. guy got famous. That's bullshit. He was getting this this reputation long before. For sure there's crabs in a bucket, and for sure there's when people get famous, people try to drag them down. But that's not what's going on here. Yeah, but again, you got to look at it oh, the way I'm looking at it. Yeah, you look at it as a club no, owner, and he no, puts asses in your no, seat. No, That's no, how you're looking that's at not, it. That's not, that's, he's not, he's not, that's not the reason. Come on, uh, what's been, the reason? He's been, he been working there 12 years, right. and a lot of people, they came to me. The same time he came with a joke. Another person came out with a joke. The joke you're talking about, discovery and uh, tigers and all of that. Everybody can do that joke. And you saying to me, well, somebody see that sh joke. It cannot be done. Another person. I got a call from Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer was working with Dane Cook in Canada. And Jim Brewer called me up and he goes, dude, 
Bro, dude, fucking Dane Cook's doing your material How verbatim. In Kent, seven, yeah. eight years ago. It was a long time ago. And well, then I heard he did it on Premium Blend, and that's when I called him up. And I'm like, Dan and I used to be friends. I was friends with that guy. He used to open up for me back in Boston when he was with Al and the Monkeys. He was a, a sketch group. And, you know, I, I've known him for a long time. He's always had that reputation. He's well, always had On that hey, CD, there's three bits from this Louis C.K. HBO special. That are yeah, nearly least, word for word. He'll change I'm, one word and it's almost and, exactly Dude, I'm a same. huge comedy fan and I love it when people make it and I, I love being inspired. I love watching good comedy and I'm not one that believes that if someone becomes successful, that means that other people aren't successful. I think that it, there's enough success out there for everybody and I want everybody to be huge. I mean, I want everybody to, who's, who's a great comic to get out there and have a bunch of people enjoy their work, but that's not what's going on here. Well, to me, again, maybe some of a lot of stuff, I'm not saying you, a lot of comics that I spoke to I see they're coming from jealousy. You they're think coming Louis C.K. is coming from jealousy? I don't know. Louis C.K., for example, one of the jokes that he particularly talks about, I seen it. Dane Cook was working on the stage much before Louis C.K. How long? C. How long? I don't know, about maybe eight, nine, uh, nine months before Louis Yeah, C. Louis C. had those jokes for about six years. Okay. Six years, but and Dane seen those jokes. But you don't know if Dane seen it or he saw it on the t on the TV course, or sometimes it came in. Or you saying, oh, he's he went, them. he took the. He saw him. Louis was in the audience, and oh, Louis was on stage, and Dane was in the audience. Louis talked to Dane after he did sets. He, was, he talks about it. About a Dane saw him do the material. Uh, again, again, we all make an acquisition without, you know. I no, mean, no, no, all no, 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 we're not. We're Louis, not making accusations. No, let's, let's have Louis and uh, Dane start talking to each other say this has happened. you saying stuff. Well, I mean, why, I, why are you defending him? Why are you the, openly because, defending because him? Because I'm openly defending him because of, I think a lot of, I mean, a lot of people, they went, they came to the club. I'm the only club. If I see You're proof, the only club? I'm the only club. The only any club, other, what, what do you mean? The only club of van people, if uh, Carlos Mancio, any of that stuff, Paul Mooney came in, said Carlos Mancio did uh, his jokes. I was in Laugh Factory, I said, Carlos, you cannot do that anymore. But he you still can't. performs at your club. No, he doesn't. He doesn't ever perform at your club. Except, uh, no, no, only one time he came. Come on, he wasn't there recently? No, he came one time with a showcase for the, uh, what they call it, uh, for, uh, uh, what was Okay, that? well, I'm being lied to then because someone told me they saw him here very recently and they've seen him at your club a couple times. Well, uh, I mean, if they've seen him, I don't know, but personally. So it's I, when you're not there that he No, performs. I mean, I'm there all the time, but if Okay, so you're admitting that Carlos steals. You know Carlos steals? I don't know Carlos, again, Carlos, <laughs> but let me explain. No, I admit it. I admit it, Carlos, let me explain it to you with Call us. Call us. I admit Let's it. Call him by a slave name. Okay. Okay. <laughs> call him Ned. Ned or whatever. Whatever. Is is the whole thing is I'm just trying to say I saw Carlos and George Lopez. They were upstairs. They were, you know, almost killing each other. That was I, actually in the lobby when George Lopez grabbed him by the neck and threw him. No, up it wasn't the wall. in lobby. It was upstairs in my sure? club. It was upset. I thought it was in the front, bro. No, 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 no. I, I mean, might have happened more than once. Yeah, yeah I mean, I well, again, again, you get. Right. I mean, I saw it. I saw right. it. Uh, I, you know, I tried. What to... What happened with Lopez and Carlos? I don't get all the Lopez. Skinny. This Carlos stole all Lopez's shit and did it on his HBO special. Lopez Carlos is him. more subtle about his stealing now, but in the early days, it was fucking horrible. It was just blatant, verbatim, just just giant chunks of material. He's not a creative guy. I mean, if you talk to the guy, he's not very intelligent. Doesn't have an unusual point of view, and he just steals. He's oh, so him and Lopez had a beef. Yeah, in, in the he's club. had a beef with yeah. everybody, bro. Mooney, yeah, I Lopez. Mean, you know, I mean, I've seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of people. They get in a fight and everything. And the time they came in to me, they told me about it, and I find out if they did it, then I try to react on it and do whatever I can. Mm -hmm. And to come in to tell me, oh, as soon as somebody make it and everybody jealous and trying to put him down, I. I, 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 I'm a you keep I'll saying say, I'll say that, something about bro. Louis, though. Louis did not push... I will say this because I know yeah. Louis well. Yeah. He I didn't know push Louis that, Louis, well Louis didn't push that issue. He actually... Uh, we were talking about it one time on the set, and he's like, nah, man, I don't want to get into it and, and, and talk about it publicly. Just because then it seems like you're bashing the guy who's getting famous. So Louis actually yeah. tried to be very low-key about that whole thing. He I tried to be big purpose, about it. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I had a conversation I, with him about it, and I said, dude, you're not going to come off bitter if you're just honest about it. You don't have to, you know, just... It's, you don't have to, like... Let a guy get away with something like that. You can talk about it and not come off bitter. It is possible. 
Yeah, but again, okay, everything, all right, he stole this, he stole that, but mm. everything he's made so far, he made his movie, became number one, that's this all, came that's number all, one, that's these all, all he stole. That doesn't he mean anything. No, no, bro, that's, we're not talking about the fucking movies, man, we're talking about comedy. Yeah, we're talking you know, about comedy that's a big deal? and everything, everything you're, you're is, making it like it's not a big deal. A lot of times people don't know, always until they see these CDs that become number one on, on, on the charts. Once they see it, once it's out there, they're like, oh, that's the real cool. that The real thing cool. about Dane is Dane would have made it without stealing. They, Dane made it because he's brutally ambitious and he's a no, very he's smart a guy. He's a talented, too. He's a very but talented performer. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I, I believe all that. Yeah, I, you're not, not, okay. All right, I'm, ba I'm back. I'm sorry. Louis C.K., uh, Dane Cook. <laughs> okay. Got some audio. Because you okay. haven't heard this yet, right? Let's see it. Yeah, please. All right, let's see if you have a comment. So this is Louis C.K., obviously. Listen closely. One time I saw a guy in a bicycle, and he was about to get hit with a car door. It was horrible. And he wasn't looking, and the lady opening the door wasn't looking. It was just, like, just for me. And I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah! Like, I, I wanted to yell something, but what do you yell? And I'm trying to, like, if time slows down, I'm trying to choose the thing to yell that will have all the information that he needs. Because it was happening really fast. I had, like, that much time to yell, you know... What can I yell in that much time? This, hey, you got to buy all. Hang on, that's not. She can open the door. Yeah, shit. <laughs> so I, I just yelled out, bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't really specific enough. <laughs> oh well. So there you have it, Louis C.K. Now, the, what's that from? You know offhand, Joe? Oh, it's, I don't know. It's one of those HBO specials, or is it a CD? This goes back a while. A I've seen, I saw Louis do that years ago. I actually don't know where it's like from. It's like 2000. It's like from 2000. 2001, they're saying. All right. All right. And now here's Dane Cook. Okay. Can I comment on that? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Absolutely. We're playing it for you. Okay, okay. That particular thing, I know Dane Cook. He came to me. He said he saw an accident really happen. Now, you guys coming up say because of, you know, it, it was rec recorded so much. If it, something happened to somebody. But dude, he saw that bit. That's the same bit. No, he it, it saw this accident happen. That's that's all well and good. You see an accident doesn't mean you're allowed to take someone's bit to describe the accident. And that's what he did. He described it exactly the same way he saw Louis C.K. describe it. That's a stolen bit. Well, I um, to me, the time he described the accident happened to him. That doesn't mean anything. That, that does mean to something because no, if something happened to you, Joe Rogan, if somebody punched you in the face or something, and you're going to talk Are about you it, you can't me? say you can't say no. I, no, no, no. no. And you falling you apart here, Jamie? No, no. I mean, I'm saying somebody. somebody Jamie, you're something. falling apart no, here. No, I'm not. That's a stolen bit. No, it's not. not. Can, can I? Get, can we get a consensus that, here? A Who, how many people believe that was a stolen bit? It's very close. Yeah, it's pretty close. If everyone in the in the peanut gallery just raised their hands everyone out there Here's so far is that a stolen bit see, if you have something happen Dude, to you I see I, people on stage and they'll do a bit I'm like oh my god the same stuff happened exactly to me you don't, Dude, I, I had a bit one time and I swear to god another guy came out he had a bit and it was like fucking the setup That's that possible. we had were like word for fucking word and I got all paranoid I started inventing this conspiracy like this guy's on a TV show he had writers and they, they were in this Chinese restaurant that I was performing <laughs> in out in fucking Worcester and they saw it and then I just after a while I just realized that like that is possible like parallel thinking we, we already yeah, discussed me that and, uh, but this is not a case Greg of Gerardo parallel had, thinking had a bit about again uh, we're talking about six years before and during those years and before that he was doing the bit before he recorded it in 2001 he was doing that bit before and he's been doing it and then and Dane comes along and puts it on a CD in 2005. You don't think he saw that? This Joe, you, know, Joe. You, know, you know what the thing is? 
the, the pro- people definitely steal. They definitely swipe shit. They definitely switch shit up. But actually fucking proving it is what sucks. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because, Absolutely. Because thank people you. rewrite things. They or steal being a paranoid. Being rewrite. a paranoid, Jamie, Joy. there's nothing paranoid well, about that. Paranoid. that. That, that is Jamie, paranoid. there's nothing paranoid about what you just heard. I, no, because I heard the other part of the story. You don't want to face the, the, the other part, part of the story. Of the, story. the guy, he was, he was almost in an accident. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear what, what okay, happened. Okay, let's look at it this way. Uh, no. You know Chris Rock's joke? about uh, tossing your salad. You know that joke he does about uh, watching that prison yeah. show? Now, what if I watch the same prison show and I go on stage and do a joke very similar about tossing your salad? Even though I know Chris Rock had done that show, that joke, for five fucking years about tossing your salad. That would be stealing material, Jamie. That's I what that is. Okay, let me even though that. I okay. saw the show, okay. Okay. even though I saw the same show he saw, it's still stealing material when you know another guy did the exact same fucking thing. Yeah, that's that okay, okay. who got there first. Okay, right. no, 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 no I understand. I understand. It's the same stuff. Up. I listen, that could have been parallel thinking. Let's uh, go to another. Can I make one no, comment? No, 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 what do you think? No, I, that's way too close. Well, let's it's me, stealing, right? Can I, can you yeah. think yeah. it's stealing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 Anthony, we what do you think? Comment. Joe, we have a soft, yeah, that's too we have close. A soft spot yeah. for this because in radio, the same shit sure. happens to you guys all the time. Okay, can I say something? Let's get another example. Let's get another one. Okay. Yeah, well, here's another like, example. You have to say it too. Like I never jumped on the Dana stealing bandwagon. Only because I know a lot of people attack somebody when a guy's getting. You have to see how many instances it happens in. Like if you hear one bit and you go like, like it's one, one bit. bit. Absolutely, it been there is something thinking. that can be if very you have close an open on mind, one bit. All right, fine, parallel. Yeah, I, I, I have not heard one. But, but, but you guys Let's don't know. Okay, okay. You don't want to listen to me. Well, you'll have your say. Okay, thank you. Here's another example. Louis C.K. First. My wife and I were thinking of having a baby and. I'd like to have a kid, because you can name your kid anything you want. I like that part. I'd like to give my kid an interesting name, you know? Like a name with no vowels, maybe, you know? Just like... Just like 40 Fs, that's his name. Go clean your room, you know, something like that. <laughs> All right, so that's Louis C.K. Yeah, from 2001. Special. Louis About, is a fucking yeah. an original guy, man. Louis yeah, is a very, very out original. there original yeah. guy. Yeah, weird. All right, here's Dane Cook. Very weird. I think about having kids. I'd love to have some kids. I've been thinking about kids. I want to have, like, 19 kids. I think naming them, that's going to be fun. Whatever the names that you come up with, that's exciting right there. You get to both decide, hey, do you want to name that? No, I don't like that name. Right? It's like a little game you try to come up with. I already have names picked out. I don't even know. First kid, boy, girl, I don't care. The first one that comes out, I'm naming it. I think it's beautiful. It's feminine but strong at the same time. Time for bed. I said time for bed. No cookies. Oh, boy. Well, uh, what do you have to say about that one? Uh, that's, <laughs> right, that's what I'll say here. Yeah. This, 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 this is what I'll say now. One can happen. I don't know. This is, you know. Uh, when like, there's like smoke, so awkward. there's fire. Yeah, Look, I, I used to like good. the guy, too, until he stole from me. It, it, it's not it's not an uncommon discussion amongst comedians. That's almost word okay, for word, okay, Jamie. What okay, do you got to say? Okay, let me explain something, you guys. We wouldn't be surprised if you just start yelling nigger a lot. Stop, stop. Stop like even going there, please. 75 bucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opie, 75 yeah, yeah. bucks. Why are you going there? Why are you going there? Oh, Come buddy, on. Not that word. Okay. 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 okay, let me let Yeah, me we'll say. see. Uh, okay. We're going to watch okay. it. Let me tell you. you. Let's let Jamie. Learn that Jamie, word. That was Jamie. a lot cheaper back in the 1800s. <laughs> okay. Jamie's okay. doing a good like friend. You, 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 okay, right. let, me, let me. Dane Cook. Is one thing about Dane Cook, he goes up there, he talks, he's not like a comedian that go write the material, and he talk, like accent happen, like the time he goes on the stage, there's somebody who is talking to him about kids and something like that, and he just blobs whatever comes to his mind. Maybe that thought of the same thought was going on, he doesn't write the material, he goes up there, he make, make up the material right on the spot, and he's not like... He's commenting what's happened to him. And again, this one, I would say he went on the stage and something happened to the kids or something. He come. One time, I got to tell you one thing so you uh, clarify something. Let me explain something. Wow, you're please. in denial, Okay, bro. no, 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 oh, no I'm deep. not in denial. This, this is a little rock, deep, Jamie. Denial, okay. Jamie. Okay. Jamie. Can, I, can, I, can I finish it? Jamie, can I finish 
you're, 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 it's as... not true because okay. he says that joke all the time. Okay. It's not like someone yelled at him, what about kids, Dane? And then okay. he just said, okay. uh, I want to name a kid with a lot of letters together. Even though I've never heard anybody do that before. Okay, and I will okay. say, even though the bits are very similar, I, I did kind of enjoy Dane's bit, too. Did you enjoy it? does it with them all. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, one time, one time a, ge- a guy... Made me laugh. <laughs> one time, well, i got to tell you something. One time, Los Angeles Times was doing an article about uh, Robin, William, Lo- Robin William being taken material from other people. Yeah. True. And I... They call me, everybody, they talk to everybody in the industry, everybody. They say, yeah, Robin doing that. Robin did that on Tonight Show. Robin did that on from me here. Robin did that, that. But for Robin, my only thing is seeing him to what he's doing on the stage and how long he's been doing it. Robin is a type of person, he's addictive to laughter. And that's what I said. We call and him attention was, whores. I don't know if it's a. He just doesn't like a, a drug addict. Is a, uh, he need a fix? The time he's on the right. stage, he need a laugh. Right. And mm-hmm. that's as you know, opposed and Robin, to what? As opposed to every other fucking so, comedian. As yeah. opposed to what alternative comedy? Yeah, that, that's Jamie. 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 Dude, if if you're defending, that's one of the shittiest. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying you're defending it because he's addicted he loved, to love, no, love, no, love. I'm saying he took it. He took it. He took it, and he took it. Robin, Robin Williams is a joke thief. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we have Robin, but Dane no. Still Dane no? It's still Dane no. Let's hear the third hold on, one. Hold on, hold on. Treat These yourself treat to yourself my material. Number three. Right. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> treat yourself. Wait, Aaron, what was your thought? Buddy. These are two. Wait, we got to get him to do it now, right? All right, let's third. hear it. Hold on a second. Hold yes, on. Sir. Sir. Right, Jeremy, can you do me a favor and just say treat yourself? Treat yourself. Uh, treat what, what did I say? What did I do? Nothing. Uh, you're, they're Why are you there. picking on me now? Well, yeah, you are. sound like you really know. Buddy, listen. Uh, you just sound more, like someone we know. One more bit, buddy. Someone that I... Whatever. All right, here's oh, the what? third Somebody example. took your right. material? Another one. <laughs> no, I jumped on his cake one day. Uh-oh. After he said, treat yourself. Uh-oh. All right, here's the third example. First, Louis C.K., the bit is called Itchy Ass. And I had an itchy asshole for like a week. And I could have won a million dollars. I still would have been going, fuck my asshole! It itches! I <laughs> <laughs> wanted to like eat bad food so I would like fart to scratch it. <laughs> oh, that's a damn funny bit. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that one on the radio Monday when we have a different audience. And uh, here's uh, oh, Dane Cook a few years later. The other day, I don't know if you've ever gotten this, about, uh, it was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I got the itchiest asshole I've ever gotten on record. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? Oh, you just, you feel, usually you're at work or someplace that you can't focus on it. You got to do some other activities, right? And the entire day, you just kind of bounce around and try to, try to shake it out, right? <laughs> oh, man. Just rewriting material, man. Here's the deal. Here's the question, Jamie. These are three bits from a Louis C.K. HBO special that all three bits appeared on Dane Cook's CD four years later. Okay. Now, that's you telling me. Well, okay. you, wait a minute. Do you think it's even possible that he stole them? Wait, 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 wait. Is it possible? Uh, let, let, I mean, let me finish what I'm okay, saying. Okay, but just answer that question first. Is it possible? I don't know. I don't, uh, you know, I, I personally, I don't think he's that type of person. He's mm-hmm. not that type of person, buddy. He's not a, buddy, a person. He buddy. Buddy, he's buddy, he is. He's not a thief. Okay. Hey. Okay. He I is. mean, you <laughs> said Lucy CK, he get a uh, itchy asshole, and but Dana, he would never have an itchy asshole. Maybe he never. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're saying. That's exactly what we're saying. He got us right. <laughs> I was going to say it. Okay. Buddy, itchy <laughs> asshole happened to everyone. I have itchy asshole right now. Right now. I'm, I'm talking to my you. My ass, ass is itching. Kill so, me. So I can't say uh, anything. My yeah. ass is itching. It's, because it's, I, I want to yell nigger. Hey, hey, hey. That's not That's I, not enough of that word. I gotta say one bucks. thing, man. He, Jamie is punching in his way out of the corner. You gotta give him some. Oh, yeah, he really is. Fucking is swinging blind, bro. Oh yeah. He hit. He <laughs> he you know, swinging. no. It's like you know. one of those old school fights where it's like 98 rounds. <laughs> right. You, you are 100 percent right that people will always be jealous of successful comedians and they always wish that upon themselves. But you're 100 percent wrong that that happens with every comedian. That's not the case with Chris Rock. It's not the case with Dave Chappelle. It's not the case with David Tell. There's a lot of very, very successful 
of very funny, very famous comedians that no one ever says a word about them stealing material. See, and like Dice, smoke, Dice and Kinnison both were accused after they became huger than huger. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Stuff. Thank never you. Kinnison being Th accused. No? No, Kinnison well, accused yeah, Dice. Kinnison accused Dice of one bit. There was a, yeah. a bit that, uh, you know, Kinnison used to do a bit about gays. I don't know. How does one guy look at another guy's hairy ass and find love? How does that happen? Yeah. And then Dice did a bit. How does one guy, you know, see another guy's hairy ass? And it was a very similar thing. Right. They'd work together. Who knows? But it was really like one That's bit. one. I, know, over, I, was, I was in a club the time they start fighting. They start punching each other in the face. Yeah, and I try, I try to separate yeah. them because of, mm. you know, again, people, they come close <laughs> to each other. You know, it just, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> really it do. cannot, you know, I mean, if you know a person, <laughs> if I, you know, I mean, if I know Dane, as long as I know him 12 years or 13 years, he is not that type of person stealing. So maybe is they are close. But why he's so not that type he does? of why have, why have so many people say he does for like 10 years? Why is that? I have no idea because of you. Maybe the people they don't know him. Jamie, do I know three him. bits Jamie. from the same guy from the same HBO All right, special. listen, we're not going to solve this okay. year. Yeah, we are not. No, we no. do have a plane to catch at 1.30. I like uh, it, though. Jamie Masada has a quote, uh, another yeah. version of the Laugh Factory here in New York, right? It's on, yes, sir. It's yes, on sir. 42nd Street. It's actually got a really cool vibe. It's over Show World. Which is a really, it's, it's like a lot of the same uh, uh, interior was kept, like the fucking lights, and it's really a cool place to go, man. Uh, I got a cringe here. Whites only, once. though. Whites only. Absolutely. Whites only. That's, That's right. right. Who's at the Laugh Factory in New York here? Oh, why are you guys, are you brought me in here, roads me, or are you trying no, to I'm pick on me? No, what did I do wrong to you guys? Jamie! I'm sorry, yeah, I was, yeah, on, I was, I was under a misconception, like that's what I, I heard. Mean, I'm, Jamie. I really, I love comics, I love everybody, I love Joe, All I love right, Jamie, everybody I love in here. You, you know, <laughs> I mean. You gotta understand the Opie and Anthony show. You, you say, I love you guys too, I listen to you guys all the time. I love you too, man. Yeah, I do, I do. My buddy from, my buddy Tony Vodeca called me. The show, Jamie. Like when you listen to this show, what's your favorite bit? Yeah. The time that all of you guys, comedian, they're on it. I love that Very show. Generic. Oh, yeah. wow. Very generic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Name really one Hollywood. bit we've done. Said what? Name one, one bit one we've signature done. Signature bit. One signature bit. I mean, the, uh, for example, the stuff you do all of the time you do. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. The time you were in another station you, you were doing. I was fight. getting in Los Angeles. was getting a whole thing about you guys putting competition, sex stuff. was going to the guy having right. it in church and all of that stuff. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. O&A Party Rock. Does that, does yeah. that mean anything? O&A Party Rock? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what WOW is? Yes. What is what it? Is it? Wow! 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 Yeah, wow! W O W. What is yeah. wow? Yeah, wow! It has something to do with our show. Yeah. Wow! No. Wow! No. Yeah, no. Mm. Right. Wow! Well, we just started. That's we, do, we, we don't do it that, that much. Bit, so yeah. We don't do it that much. You might recognize it as Flash Friday. Okay. Oh, Speaking like of ripping story. off, don't yeah. who's even Flash started. Friday? Yeah. Fucking like us. Oh, That's stinks. stupid. Tom Lick ass. <laughs> anyway, who's at the club this week in New York? Uh, everybody. Good okay. everybody. everybody. I mean, I don't want all of the seven Mike, stars. Michael Richards? Huh? Oh, Michael Richards? Yeah, plug no, plug. because you guys, you all, I, no. even name though I say, comic who's there, I know, I know, I know, for example. Hey, 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 Jamie, just say Michael Richards is going to be there. You, Dan Cook is my friend, buddy. Yeah. Jamie yeah. could be, no, you could be the president. You could be the fucking president. I can see you at a podium getting asked a question and just fucking going like, if you Aries, want to, when are we getting out of Iraq? It's a big country. You just say Aries Spears, yeah. tremendous thief. Oh, Tree here we go. <laughs> I knew I, if I said only guy anybody, I said he's going to That's not true. That's what? not true. I'm a huge supporter of comedians. It's yeah. not true. Yeah. Aries Spears the thief. And you know what he is, don't you? Oh, yeah. Former cast member of Mad. That's right. Too yeah, big. and he worked with Damon <laughs> Wayne right now on his new show. Uh, you know what Damon Wayne's is? A brother of other uh, Damon Wayne's uh, Wayne's uh, brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? There you Excuse go. me. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Tonight? All right, listen. We got to wrap. I should have just said nigger. <laughs> oh, 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 man. R. Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Jamie? Say it once, but just for old time's sake. Say it. What, what time. shall I say? Bigger. Yeah, the word. Say bigger. The, bigger. 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 Yeah. Okay, guys, you picked on me now. Now no, say, now say no. Now say no. nickel. No. No. <laughs> and we will edit All that right. together. <laughs> All right, guys, no, you're buddy. great. Thank no. you very much. Right, Jamie. Say I love no you guys. Hold on. Hold on, let me wrap this up. Yeah. Jamie, before you come back on the show, you got to do a little research. You got to understand our show. You, you don't listen to our show, which is fine. 
<laughs> You're a busy guy. No, but, but don't I, forget. I, I'm working you, at the two o'clock, three uh, o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm all fine. Right. You know, I get mean, you got to look at this. In L.A., something. get an XM. Listen for a couple of weeks, and then we're going to test you. Why well, don't we get Jamie okay. an XM? We can get Jamie Mastad an XM. No, we, I get, let's get, get him an XM. XM. No, I, I get an XM. Right and right. Next time uh, I'm in here, I'll you test me. We have everything. one for him then? Because we're very yeah, we'll sharp here, right Jamie. Now. We know when people Stop. are like kind of. Okay, okay. Don't get on my case, please, right. guys. Jamie I'm going to do it. No, <laughs> we are uh, one of the best clubs in LA, if not the best club. Beautiful fucking club, the Laugh Factory, badass place. Once he gets rid of all the hacks, it'll be a really good place. Hey, hold on, and we we backed you up on your N word ban, even though I I don't. Theory like it, but I, I we, know why you did it. I, I backed him up on for that for that reason. Uh, so right. you know, Jamie's always been cool to Thank me. You, I, I've been performing. I perform. Right. Jamie, just right. try to nah, try to ban it from my car. All right. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. All right. I drive home. Opie, what do you got? You going to the phone or something? <laughs> yeah, we have to because uh, it was a very busy day. We're almost forgetting that we did the eggnog drinking contest today. Right. Uh, eggnog, yes. Pat uh, <laughs> Pat won it again this year. Yes, he, he did. Set a new record. 70